Hi YouTube, I can't sleep at the moment. My sleep pattern's all interrupted, so I thought I'd put on my red top and talk politics. <clears throat> I think I'll colour code my videos from now on. <clears throat> Be a bit of a problem in winter though. Anyway, I want to talk about the difference between intelligentsia and intellectuals, why I am for the former and against the latter. This is a standard Marxist analysis of them, so there's nothing original here, I just wanted to make it clear. Now, basically, intelligentsia are educated people who want to change the world, while intellectuals are <laughs> layabouts. People who are well educated but do nothing with their education. Now, I'd consider myself an intellectual 95% of the time, about 5% I've managed to be intelligent. Yeah, I'd like to be that all the time. The former are useful to society, the latter are not. Most, nearly all intellectuals are university educated. Now, you can be intelligent, yeah, and in theory, you could be illiterate. If you were an illiterate artist who did paintings which encouraged people to revolt, uh, say a voodoo priest in Haiti in 1791, probably illiterate, but I would still consider him intelligent because he uses his perfectly, I mean, compared to Western medicine, just as good hey, African medicine, he used his knowledge of that to gain political influence and to incite people to revolt. I mean, that's true, the Haitian Rebellion wasn't just started by Toussaint Louverture, it was started by a voodoo priest, I forget his name, it's in a book. Anyway, or an artist doing a painting to incite revolt might be illiterate, but that would still be intelligentsia. Intellectuals are snobbish. They look down on people with less education than intelligentsia respect that. And that's what the Cultural Revolution was all about. People think that was an economic disaster. I don't think it was, because intellectuals were forced to share their skills and education with the peasants, and vice versa. How is it any different from gap year students, except you had to force them to, because China had a long tradition of intellectual elitism, which had to be destroyed. They'd been respecting the aged population simply because they were old, not because they deserved it. Remember, respect must be earned. Age is not good enough. I consider a lot of old intellectuals who fancy themselves intelligent, yeah, they're armchair socialists. For me to have been intelligent here all the time, I should have really gone to Nepal during the Civil War. Then I really would have known if I'm just a socialist intellectual or really a communist intelligentsia as I aspire to be. Anyway, that's enough for now. See you later YouTube. I'll probably be doing another Macadon video because I know that they're the most popular ones by a mile. Might do another one tonight if I can't get to sleep. Anyway, see you later. Bye bye.